Yeah, man, let's go, man. We still grinding, guys. We are back with another video, man. And guess what today? We have Odell Beckham Jr. He is the replacement for my boy Keenan Allen. Y'all know Keenan Allen is my favorite receiver in the league. And we had him for the longest. But his car got outdated. So we went and got Odell Beckham Jr. Because he has like the same type of skill set. But obviously faster and more up to date. And we got Stylomatic on him just like how we had Keenan. 93 speed, 96 jumping. We got him boosted with 91 catching. Uh, 92 catching traffic, 95 spec is freaking insane. 93 short route running, which is great. 90 medium and 94 deep route running. This man is about to go crazy for us. Um, yeah, just thinking of how Madden 16 completely changed the heck out of the game. Oh, Dale, like I said, when he first came to the league, they were just going crazy. I never thought he was overrated. They just kind of hyped him up a little bit, but Odell was nice, man. He broke rookie records and he was just going nuts, man. So glad to have Odell on our team. This cost me, I think it was, dang, three, was it 300 something? 400 something? I don't know, man. This man cost a lot. I had to go back and check it. But anyway, we still got Tony G with us. We still got Julio with us. Randy Moss. This car, I feel like it's getting outdated too, or it's probably been outdated. He hasn't really did much on my team. So Randy Moss may be shipped up out of here. And we'll get a receiver that I've been talking about for a minute, probably sometime after this video so anyway we got troy palomalo everybody but this man though by the way these solos was the worst solos to date in this game we got brandon graham man good stuff right here brandon freaking graham 85 speed 88 sale 92 strength 89 tackling 91 play rick 92 block shed 92 power move 90 finesse move brandon graham you get these from doing a uh, forge in the solos 6'2", 265 pounds, Brandon Graham, this guy, if y'all didn't know, he was known for like that Super Bowl guy, that sec Tom Brady in the game, if I'm not mistaken, that is him, is that him, right, no, it's not, maybe I'm thinking about somebody else, <laughs> I think I'm thinking about somebody else, but Brandon Graham, uh, good stuff right there, either way it goes, that man is still really good, um, yeah, I think I'm thinking about somebody else, if not, y'all correct me, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but that is the story of the game, it's going to be Brandon Graham, and it is going to be Odell Beckham. But I will tell you before we get into the gameplay, this is the first game after I got Odell and Brandon Graham. And this was this game was not fun to play. But let's see how it turned out. This game was not fun to play at all. But it was cool to see two new faces on the team. So let me see what y'all think. Let's get it straight into it, man. Let's go. All right, guys. Brandon Graham was confirmed. They got a strip sack. Tom Brady. And it was Derek Barnett who picked it up. As y'all saw, that was my team. This is his team. Patrick Mahomes, he got protected, which is freaking ridiculous. Protected is protected. Freaking showed up this game. I have to tell you that right now. But let's go ahead and get into it. Anyway, DeAndre Swift. I don't know what edition this card is, but I haven't seen nobody with this card. There's freaking DeAndre Swift and a read option with Patrick Mahomes. I have no idea why Patrick Mahomes is this fast. When I seen that, I was like, ain't no freaking way. This it has to be one of those games where their players are faster and mine are slower. Because, and the fact that a dude dove inside the freaking pile like that, I was like, oh, are we in for it? What are these type of games? So let's get into it, man. Third and freaking three for Patrick Mahomes. You done seen the dude outrun my whole defense. You done seen the dude diving, uh, even though they said the pass notes they was going to have a fumble chance. You done seen the dude avoid sack back to back. By the way, we got Graham on the other side, and we put Shaquille in on the other side. And we are on offense right now, as we almost get set. Anyway, second to 10. We hand off right there to CP, and it's almost stripped by that man right there. I think that was Camardi, or that was Chancellor. I don't know. And right there, we try to throw a, a pass, a bullet pass, live pass, touch pass. I don't know what it was, but it wouldn't be a video without Michael Vick starting off with a pick. I don't know what it is. We just can't do nothing on the first drive. And right there. Why the heck can we not catch Patrick Mahomes? He finally get him. Good stuff right there. Nice stop by Deron Payne. Mahomes. Ugh. He's almost sacked right there by Brandon. I meant Shaquille. My bad. Was that Brandon Graham or Shaquille? I think they got the same number. I think that was uh, Brandon Graham because he didn't have a start up on there. So almost sacked by Brandon Graham. Good stuff. Patrick Mahomes looking to pass. I thought that would have been picked off right there, but somehow he passed, let it behind him where I was. 
and he was able to turn around and catch that. That is that new A.J. Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, good stuff to him right there. But in my opinion, I don't think this guy was good at all. I just felt like, you know, so you can you can tell when the game just feels different, man. It's something off. I don't know. Everybody that plays this game knows what's up. And that dude is wide open for some reason as he bounces off the hit stick by Ed Reed. First and 10. Patrick Mahomes looking to pass. Look at this right here, guys. I don't know how the heck you go straight from a blocking blocker like that. Like, that doesn't make sense. Y'all go back and watch that. I understand there's, uh, what is it, blue routes in this game. You know what I'm saying? They can block for a little bit and then go off. I've never seen that. And the fact that I was in his face and then do literally playmaker out of nowhere. And then next thing you know, it was a touchdown. So, anyway, we back on offense, man. This dude is up by seven. But he tries to run commit. I didn't mean to play fake right there, but it worked out for us. And Kyle Pitts is wide open. Kyle Pitts is still on the team. Touchdown for him. And he is freaking crawling in there. Uh, eh, eh. Straight to the mama's bedroom. That's what we call it. Let's go. Nah, I'm just playing, man. You know, you got to make some jokes, man. Let's go. Anyway, it is seven up. Two plays, 76 yards. Patrick Mahomes looking to pass. And somehow he's open again. But Eddie Reed cleans him up that time. Good stuff, man. Good hit. And look at this right here, guys. How do, like, what, what is that? We passed him, man. How did they both miss him? I don't understand. I'm trying to tell y'all, there's something going on, man. We, we, well, not pass commit. We, I think we QB contained or whatever. We was right there, and somehow he just avoided him. And Patrick Mahomes is acting like he got 94 speed, like Vic. And now you see what the freak was that. He can't do that. He can't do that. He can't do that. That makes no sense. It's a whole bunch of fluke stuff going on. I'm loud. Here we go, man. These type of games. Y'all can probably hear me in the background because I forgot I had my mic on my controller because I was uh, doing searches on YouTube with my uh voice and as you see somehow some type of way the dude gets wide open and i'm like oh my gosh no the dude is up 7 to 14. come on we got cp look at this though look how this dude just dives look how he just dives. look look how he just dives at, a, at an angle who the freak dives to the side like that and anyway <laughs> more stuff coming first and 10. oh cp with a nice juke right there yes second and two two for four for Michael Vick as he's lagging right quick. And we could not get the ball off because for some reason it lagged at a perfect time. Even though it's not, you know, my internet is fine right now. Ugh. As we try to thread it in there to Tony Gonzalez. But it did not happen, so we didn't do anything. 7-14. to 14. This man is throwing. But look at that click on game. Ugh. Now he's train lane. Perfect time user pick. That really was probably the best perfect time user pick. And look at this dude dive early and still makes a tackle, man. This game is freaking, I'm trying to tell y'all, when they start, they don't stop. As Michael Vick, great timing, perfect accuracy bullet pass, and we couldn't catch him. Now, look at this right here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Did you guys see how the freaking right tackle just let the guy, he didn't even have to do a move. He just stopped. He just let him through. Like, it, you know, it's not even coming free. He just touched him, and he just went off and just kept going. Fourth and ten. Michael Vick looking to pass. We try to do something, and we finally threw it in there with a dot. Perfect accuracy completed by Michael Vick. Good stuff right there as we hand it off to CP. The dude clicks off, and he just beam lines straight to me. Second and nine. Look at this real quick. Ugh. Look, the same thing happened with Zach Martin. The dude just touched him, didn't even try to do anything, and just let the guy come in. But look who it is. Odell Beckham. ODB. OD, OBJ. Whatever you want to call him. For the touchdown, man. Nice pass right there by Michael Vick. Nice route running right there by Odell Beckham. He gets his first touchdown on our team. And we are tied up unless we get screwed over with the field goal. But Grandma Sita got it. Grammatica. Good stuff. Seven plays, 50 yards. That's what I want to see right there. Good freaking stuff. Let's go ahead and kick it off with that man, Young Way Cool. But I want to show y'all. Look, look at this. This is the most ridiculous thing. This is that DDA stuff. Look at this. Look. Look. Look, and that's that's like extra slow motion that I showed y'all that. That's not even humanly possible. That's like super, super slow motion. That's how you know this game is full of crap. I'm telling y'all, it happens like that. There was no lag spike. There was no nothing. They they intentionally do stuff like that. It, it's all in it. I'm telling y'all. Y'all be playing with me when I be like, oh, DDAD. And look, I felt the DDA as soon as the dude had the first play with the reduction with Patrick Mahomes. So this is a handicap match. We got a fight, man. 
but we gotta win this game. We gotta keep going. We gotta push. As the dude doing some weird, I don't know what kind of route that was, but first and ten, right here. That man comes straight in. Thankfully, he did not strip, uh, strip me right there. As Michael Vick is looking to pass it, is lagging right there. But we got the completion to Odell, and look, he's still lagging. And we cutting back and forth. Odell doesn't care nothing about the lag. Good stuff, Odell. As right here, it's lagging again, once again, for no reason. I don't know what it is. I pause the game just to make sure everything is good. Um, I don't know why, but I just make sure sometimes that helps out. And it canceled out the DDA. I don't know if y'all ever noticed that. If y'all getting DDA, bro, just go ahead and pause the game. And it seems to cancel the DDA out. And right after that, we get another touchdown with Odell Beckham Jr., man. Let's freaking go. ODB. Eh, OBJ. Eh. Nice pass by Mike Vick for the touchdown. This dude is, hey, he's. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. He came to the team, and he's already making a name for himself. Now, uh, here we go. Grammatic. Yes. 21 to 14. 40 seconds to go on the clock in the second quarter. Patrick Mahomes just playing ridiculous out of his mind. And look at this right here. We almost picked the ball off, but we couldn't pick the ball off. This game is getting nuts. I told you, this is probably one of the luckiest dudes I've ever seen in this game so far. As Gronkowski gets the catch, and Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes looking to pass, and we try to go somehow, some kind of way, we get Moss. But that dude is tall, but I don't know why he chose to go in front of him and not behind him and just pick the ball off. But I guess that was a good play by him. It's just the fact that he had the confidence to do that. That's what bothered me. And right here, look at these dots by Michael Vick. You see, great timing, completed, perfect accuracy. Sometimes perfect accuracy is a terrible pass. Sometimes it's a great pass. Right there, you see that? Dude gets a flag because he touched me through freaking Troy Pollard. I don't know what the heck that was about. But Michael Vick is looking to pass. And Julio Jones, nice freaking catch right there. Nice catch, nice clutch catch by Julio Jones. And now we can kick the field goal. Thankfully, they didn't lag me up before half. And we are up 24 to 21. Look at this right here. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go. We did a squib kick. But watch this, guys. I want to show y'all something. I was not supposed to make that field goal. I guarantee you I wasn't supposed to make that field goal. Look at this right here. When the half was over with, I'm telling y'all, this is how they programmed the game. I could not select anything. I'm pressing square. I'm pressing X. I'm pressing triangle. I couldn't do anything. I skipped to the part where it was counting down. So you see three, two, one. And after this whole thing was over, I was pressing circle to make sure that my buttons were registered. You see how I was going through the players? I'm telling y'all this game, man. I'm, I'm. Y'all don't believe me, but it chooses sides. It's fun to play when they out the game and you just chilling and vibing, but they be doing too much. And this is the type of stuff I hate. When they when they DDA me, they make sure they go at all aspects: the controller input, the lays, the the lag, the the timing, the slowing down my players. They do all of that. They don't just do one thing. They do the whole freaking patent. Like they they do the whole patent on me. As you see right now, we can't do nothing. But it's starting to even out. They starting to probably let me play. So here we go. Ugh, dot right there. Look at that. Look at that dot, man. Look how we, I position myself to make that freaking catch and to make that pass. And it looks like it's a clean game right now. So I'm feeling good. I'm like, okay, cool. We can actually move. We do not an RPO, but a screen. See so, you know what I'm saying? We're not doing no OP plays, but that was a screen right there. Good stuff. Third and one. We actually was able to complete that pass to Cordell Patterson. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm feeling my confidence. I'm like, okay, they're not trying to screw me over. You know what I'm saying? No lag, no, no, none of that. No, no foolishness. And right there, he just played some good defense. I didn't realize he was using with uh, Deron Payne. But anyway, third and 11. Here we go. I maybe could have hit triangle, maybe not. Nobody's open once again. Good defense by him. See, I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. Fourth and 11. Let's see, can we do something? And we try to go up for it. And our bodies freaking collide. And it's incomplete. First and 10. The dude is trying to do something. He goes to swear the dude is spinning. He's juking. We can't tackle him for some reason. He gets the first down. Next play, Patrick Mahomes does the weirdest play I've ever seen, and it actually worked for him. For some reason, nobody got in there for a sack because he has protected. Protected, I believe, literally protected this man this game. Shout out to Stonewall for activating right there so he couldn't get past me. But this is the most I've ever seen protected actually work in this game. So if this dude didn't have protected, I'm telling you, this dude could have got struck freaking destroyed as right there we try to pick the ball off but yeah it didn't work for us first and team 
Patrick Mahomes. He's looking to do something, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at this right here. Just look. Just look. Just look at Calais Camo. He's running after him, right? Why is Patrick Mahomes not getting sacked? If y'all don't know, Pat Patrick Mahomes is not that fast in this game. And look at this. Running around like an idiot. Across his body. Three or four or five people are my dudes. And we just dropped the ball. So I'm looking like, okay. They still on that bull crap. Can we do something? He throws the ball straight out of the bounds. So I'm like, okay, here we go. Third and 10. Shout out to Terry Tate for stopping the RPO. Good stuff, man. We was right there to hold it. We was right there to stop it. Fourth and 10 for this man. He tries to audible real quick. Uh, he hikes it. Fourth and 10. He's looking to do something. He's scrambling. And look, we try to go straight down to him, but he angles it and he catches it. And he gets the first down. So now I'm very upset. I'm like, ain't no freaking way we had this dude stop as this man just running in. Trey Palomalo right there stopping him. Good stuff right there. Fourth, uh, fourth quarter right here. Four minutes and 34 seconds to go. On the clock, Kaden Ellis looking like, man, come on now. Third and goal. The defense has to step up. It's 24 to 21. We got to be great. Now, look at this. And look who it is. Brandon Graham makes the first sack since he's been with us. Good stuff. Clutch sack, 24 to 24. CP going on the right side of the field. Oh, we tried to spin move. That meant we tried to get that block right there, but it didn't really work out for us. But it is first and 10. Michael Vick dunking it off the CP. Oh, oh, nice little cut right there. But Kamardi was not having it. He did not move at all. Good stuff. Second and seven. We dunk it off the CP. And he clicked off once again. I thought I could try to do something. I'm telling you. Oh, that's, that's Chancellor. I think he got Kamardi and Chancellor as we throw a dot right there to ODB, OBJ, Odell Beckham Jr. Next play. First and 10. Uh, we tried to throw to Odell, but we was too far back. Probably could have been picked off. And the next play, we see Julio over the top. And they actually let me throw it the exact way that I wanted to. Good stuff right there to Julio Jones. Julio Jones is still with us. We got him uh, like a day ago or two days ago. We got him the day after Christmas or before Christmas, whatever it was. I don't know. But we are up 31 to 24. Two minutes and 22 seconds to go on the clock. Mahomes somehow is just able to escape without escape artists, without dashing without all of that stuff i don't know how the heck this guy is doing this uh when i i have my homes and he did not run out the pocket like that or he was not this fast so that's why i'm saying there got to be something going on my homes looking to pass that was on me i should have kept my user on him but i didn't think he would actually throw it to him because as you see he was already throwing it before i even ran to the other guy so anyway first and 10 a minute 55 to go on the clock I hit stick him with Jack Campbell, and he still holds him to the ball. So I'm like, oh, hey, no, he's not fumbling the ball either. So Mahomes looking to pass. Nice hit right there by Patrick Peterson. Good stuff. First and 10. I managed to go on the clock, and somehow A.J. Brown gets open. Second is sec a second and two. <laughs> My bad. I was about to say second and second. But second and two. Now it's third and four. 33 seconds to go on the clock. 16 seconds. 15 is counting down. Third and four. The defense has to step up. I don't want to have to go through this bull crap once again as Ken Riley stops him. Seven seconds to go on the clock. First and goal. And Troy Palomalo makes a huge freaking play. Three seconds. One more play to go in the game. Can we do it? Can we freaking do it? Can we stop him right here? The defense on the line. Brandon Graham is in his face. Let's go. And he overthrows it. We win the freaking game in the clutch situation. Good stuff, man. Brandon Graham has came clutch just like he did in the Super Bowl. But this time it was against Mahomes. Crazy how to do that. Like freaking Kyle Shanahan playing at the Fort United Stadium. 31 and 24. We come out with the victory. Like I said, playing this game, this game was not fun. But we end up getting the victory. And we did get some gameplay with Odell Beckham. 300, 344 yards, four touchdowns, four. Michael Vick, man, and we're gonna get into the sets in a second. I think I was, I think I was like just chilling real quick. That's why it's looking like this. My bad. I thought I edited this stuff out, but I was just like, man, we just won. And right there, Patrick Mahomes, Michael Vick, we was four for one. CP, we don't really go too crazy with him. Julio Jones, three receptions, 119 yards, and a touchdown. Odell, six for 106 and two touchdowns, man. Good stuff right there. Julio Jones had a pancake this game. Night Trainley had a pick. Uh, so he wanted to stay on the team for sure. 
Brandon Graham with a sack. Shaquille Leonard with a sack. Good stuff. Pass the flexes. Patrick Peterson, Ed Reed. Everybody in Mama Jack Campbell, Trey Palomalo. Good freaking clutchness by Trey Palomalo at the end of the game, man. Yes. We freaking did it. We won it. I said unacceptable but because they on that bull crap. And look, we even leveled up the harvest, man. We haven't did this. So, yeah. We leveled up the freaking harvest. And look, somebody sold. I think we did one of them Monday mix-ups or whatever. So, we ended up getting Vita Vea. And we sold Vita Vea for 350000 They taxed it to like three fifteen or something. So, this is what we got after the game. Yeah. We still no money spent out here, man. We still we still doing what we got to do, man. We no money spent, but we still got coins, you know. That's what the grind is real. We grind on the game. We grind in real life. Y'all like the freaking video, man. Subscribe. We trying to go hard. We trying to get monetized, man. We pumping out these videos left and right. We playing Madden. We playing Spider-Man. We going crazy. At the end of Falcons games, we renting on the Falcons games. Man, I never felt like this this, this grind, man. I, I love this intensity. I love this. I love this feeling, man. I don't know who the heck I'm going to choose for this. I just was showing y'all this pack, by the way. Um, I don't know who the heck I'm going to choose. I don't know if any of these guys really have a spot on my team at all. I'll probably go back through it and show y'all. But anyway, man, like, subscribe. Be a part of this journey, man. Be a part of this grind. We here, man. We keep going. We're going to keep going, man. I ain't trying to stop. I, we, we right now, it's like 10 o'clock at night, man. We still going. Let's go. Came from foreign lands to please the Falcons fans. Arriving in backpacks on his brother's back. Now he's in the spot with my dogs, D Block. Friday afternoon, hanging with the block, hanging with the block, up in the spot, with my dog the block. Hey, that's it.